It looks like I have kitty ears. But I have ears or like horns or something. Like I kitty ears and that hat. It looks like it's on my head. I have kitty ears. Ah, ah, ah. Is an evil hey fam, it's Liz. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be telling a story about the time a spiritual entity uh, both saved my life and changed my life. Before I do get started though, I do want to offer a trigger warning as the story does have suicidal thoughts and intentions. I went through a severe depression in my early 20s. I was going through a spiritual crisis that ultimately led to thoughts of suicide. Although it changed from time to time, I've always had faith in some kind of spiritual deity, and for years I identified as a practicing Wiccan. As my depression deepened, I found myself all but abandoning my religious practice and questioning whether or not there was any kind of spiritual power at all. The less faith I had in a source entity, the more I questioned the point of living. If there was no divine plan, why go through all the suffering of life? What was the point of any of it? After months of suffering, it all came to a head one night. I was alone in my apartment and I had just finished getting ready for bed. Sitting on the side of my bed, I was overcome with a deep sense of anger. A heaviness sat on my chest, and I felt a lump in my throat as hot tears streamed down my face. As I sat there, I thought about waking up the next day to the same pain I'd woken up to a thousand mornings before. If tomorrow was going to be like every day before it, I knew it would be filled with feelings of hopelessness and self-loathing and wishing I hadn't woken up at all. I preferred total oblivion to living another day like that. Rage boiled over. In that moment, I'd had enough. I couldn't take another second feeling deceived and forsaken. Still sitting on the bed, I turned so that I could see the room around me. I cried aloud, Show yourself. If you exist, if there is something out there, anyone, you better show me. I don't care who or what you are. I don't care if you're Satan, God, good or bad. Just prove to me that you exist. Show me or I will kill myself. I mean it. I will kill myself right now if you don't show me there is something out there. I wasn't bluffing. And someone out there not only heard me, but believed I was wholly serious. Before my very eyes, I watched as a swirling ball of light appeared at the foot of my bed. This ball of light grew until it was half the size of my bedroom. The air in the room felt like a warm summer day, and I could smell a hint of flowers. I watched in awe as a man bathed in light walked out of what I now know was a portal. As he walked around the opposite side of the bed from me, I wasn't afraid. I could feel his empathy and compassion towards me. He sat down next to me at the top of my bed and opened his arms. Without hesitation, I fell into his arms and began to cry. I cried so hard, I thought I might not ever be able to stop. As he held me, he gently repeated, Let it go. Just let it go. I intuitively knew he meant for me to release all of the pain I'd been feeling and that he didn't want me to stop crying until I did. I don't know how long we were there like that, with him holding this sobbing child, but I think it was a while. When I was finally all cried out, my pain had been replaced with an overwhelming sense of joy and peace unlike any I'd felt before. It was pure bliss. The man asked me if I was okay now. I assured him that I was more than okay and that it was safe for him to leave. I would not be attempting suicide that night. He smiled and released me from his arms, 
then got up off the bed and walked back into the portal. I watched the light slowly dim as the portal closed. Feeling both serene and exhausted, I lied down and drifted off to sleep with a smile on my face. To this day, I don't know with certainty who or what the man was. For those I've told this story to in the past, some speculate that he was a spirit guide, an angel, or even Jesus himself. Some say it was a psychotic break with reality and that I hallucinated the whole thing. I may not know who or what he was, but I know that this experience was real. I physically felt his arms around me and his shoulder as I laid my head on it. The things I've experienced since leave me with no doubt that there is a benevolent energy out there that loves us all unconditionally. So that's it for today, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, leave a comment, uh, subscribe, and uh, hit the notification bell, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.